case anybody watches this in the future. <laughs> I just thought I'd turn on the YouTube while I'm working on my um, thatching for my fairy house. I'm going to be going live on Facebook today at 4 o'clock central. In case you're available then, uh, today is February 4th, 2020. 2020. So what I'm doing is I have a, a blend here. Let's see if you can see that. A blend. Um, it goes from, you know what, I'll have my little light on. This little light of mine. Where you at? See if that helps any. All right, so um, this blend goes from light yellow to a kind of a dark gold. Um, so try to give the hay, the thatched roof, a little bit more. And these are the two colors that I blended. So um, to give the hay a little bit more of a natural color anyway, I don't know about look. I'm doing the best I can. Never done this before, so we'll see how it turns out. Less learned and all of that. Okay. What do you think? How's it looking so far? Kind of like hey. And I'm just cutting this blend very, very teeny tiny toothpick size or smaller. And then I cut each strip in two. And I'm kind of just haphazardly laying it up here. No particular plan. I'm trying to make it look as natural and uncontrived as possible. Word and drive seems like it. Probably read it somewhere. Unplanned. I'm also uh, painting uh, this base is um polymer clay, obviously, kind of a dark brown, and it's already been fired, uh, or baked, I should say, not really, you know, fire polymer clay, but you bake it, um, and then I'm painting on top of that baked clay, I'm painting a, a coat of, hold on a second, I finish this strip, and then I'll tell you what I'm painting it with, a coat of uh, liquid I know that's backwards. Liquid poly clay, uh, and that helps when I when I bake it again. It will bond those um, polymer clay layers together. So, and they help, and it helps it stick too. Just like really big big help as far as getting it to to stick to the uh, to the baked surface. Excuse me. I thought about cutting a whole bunch of these strips all at once. But I kind of like the alternating activity. I know people go, oh, you should just cut a whole bunch of them and do them all at once. And yeah, I thought about it. But like I said, it's an alternating activity. So I'm also 
eating a sandwich that was made for lunch. <laughs> I formed the original roof on a um, one of those mini pie tins, and then I put um, a cone shape ish cone ish shape of uh, foil on top. So it's very lightweight. Um, it's getting heavier the more clay that I add to it, but that's okay. The um, the fairy house itself. Is nearing completion. Um, I baked it in several layers as well. And I added I added um, greenery to it today. I'll take that out and show you in just a minute. And after I've baked this uh, roof and made sure that it's all finished, I'll be adding some little tiny bits of greenery to it, too. Alright, so here's the, uh, the fairy house. Where's my door? There it is. Okay, the door and the front step, and then I've added some greenery on the bottom of it. Pretty excited to see. I forgot I was at the store today and I forgot the electric tea lights. I'm going to get that done as soon as possible. So this is over here. I've I glued all of the um, live live greenery on here. So got it sitting over there to dry. Be nice when I can do these live streams. Not this in particular, but I want to do my uh, my reg podcast on two days. At four. I'd like to do them on YouTube, either in addition to instead of Facebook. I'm not sure if I would have a bigger viewing audience or a smaller one. need to even this up a little bit because of the cone shape if I lay them right up next to each other eventually they're all leaning to one direction so and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second I know it's not facing him so as I'm laying them next to each other pretty soon they're all going one direction here and there's, you know, from the straight down, there's a gap. So I had to stop and put a little, fill a little here, some more thatching to keep it looking like some professional thatcher actually did it. And I'm not even sure it's going to look like that in the end anyway, but uh, somebody who wasn't totally inept, I guess. <clears throat> I 
and cut this one into three. I like that I uh, didn't make this just one color. That is a stroke of genius on my part, even if I do say so. <laughs> It'll look a little bit more. Realistic. Eek. There we go. Keep these little tweezers here. Keep my fingers out of the glue. For messing things up too much, maybe. Come on, thing. Oop. All right. See how that filled up. Oh, yeah. I'll be doing the round of thinking about it because obviously it looks like a volcano right now, as my husband pointed out. But anyway, uh, the crown up there, when I get to it, I'm going to do like a starburst kind of thing with the with the polymer clay just lay it over the top hopefully it will look right but I have to get all of this in first before I can do the crown and this is going to take a long time I laughingly thought that I was going to finish this today. <laughs> I'm going to put this one. I'm going to reverse this one. I keep putting the dark at the top. <sighs> I'm still waiting on my uh, on arm, my uh, my camera arm, and these slow boat from China things. I don't know if I'm the only one that experiences this, but when you order something, you know it's coming from China. It's going to take a few weeks to get here. There comes a point in the whole waiting process where you're thinking, "Did I really? Did I really did order it? Or did I order it? Because I don't remember ordering it now." I always thought, well, I'll write it in my calendar so that I don't forget what day I ordered it. Um, and then I forget to write it in my calendar. More gapping happening here. I'll throw a little dark color in here just for grins. at the 
this one. May it be even a light color. That's not very conditioned. Probably should use it. Oops. See how it's not because it crumbles. Okay. <laughs> it does look like a volcano. <laughs> That's funny. Leave this one all together. Oops, don't mess it up. Uh -uh. Oops. never thatched a roof before <laughs> which may be evident <laughs> So I, I hope you'll like my channel and start following me. Click that little bell button to be notified when I'm going online. I don't think I can do live streams. I don't know. I haven't tried again lately. I think you have to have a certain number of likes before you're allowed to do live. So spread the word that I'm here. That would be awesome. 
I'm also recording on my phone instead of my iPad. Hmm. That might be too too contrived looking. I guess I'll just layer it up until it fills in the gaps. Lord knows this layer is going to be thin anyway to go into the bake mode when it's finished. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, my husband, in the room. Looking natural, yes. I think my next should be moss covered. This is this is easy. That's what it is. Not difficult, well, except for my inexperience here. Oh, goodness, that didn't tear right. I had to cut through very well, apparently. Getting in too much of a hurry. It's a very thick one. Let me do some. Mm. 
<laughs> Stay up there. Oh my goodness. These little pie pans have little holes down in the bottom, so the using a pie pan for my glue, and so the little holes is starting to seep. Luckily, I have uh, wax paper down on my surface here. Well, even if the thatching job doesn't look good, it's the thatching job itself. At least the colors, I think, are right. No? I like the color. I'm drinking it's mango flavor I forget the brand name it's Mexican um, soda I guess it is but it's made with real uh, sugar instead of anything weird I don't drink them very often, so. But if I drink soda, I definitely prefer with real sugar. It keeps wanting to stick to my fingers. I have a little bit of the polyclay on my fingers now.
So if you found me on YouTube and you haven't been to my Facebook channel, my Facebook is LL, the, num the letters L and L, spelled out. And you can show me some pictures of some of your some of your projects that you've been working on. That would be awesome. By the way, this is going to be completely unedited, obviously. Ooh, I just messed up the other side. Hold on. Oh, no, I just pulled it a little bit. <laughs> she did it again. Gently press there. Make sure everybody's adhered. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to shut this down. This is getting boring even for me. I need to take a break. And uh, I'll come back and show you the finished product another time. Thanks for joining me here. This is Sabrina signing off.